couple of weeks ago we came down to the steel plant to see the start of the installation of the new North Charger crane. At the time we went over to the bays where the pieces were being held in readiness for them to be brought over here to the lay down area and to be installed into the Charger Bay. Joined today by Richie Clayton. Richie's one of the project engineers on this project. Um, because the project has moved on, I know we've had some high winds to cope with Richie in the meantime, but this morning we've seen some pieces move into the bay behind us. Tell us what's been going on and what happens next. Right, well obviously we've uh, initially put the south girder up, which was a couple of weeks back now. We virtually finished that, full installation on that, just ready to key in now. Today, after a bit of a wait, we've now got the auxiliary girder in. The plan of action now is we're going to lift it, we'll put it into position. As long as the centre of gravity is good, we'll be able to connect up. We'll suspend it for a period of time. We'll put as many bolts in as we can just to secure it. At that moment then, we'll be able to de-rig, we'll be able to turf it down the bay, and hopefully if we go within the timelines, we'll be able to collect the north and install the north today. So we're going for a double lift. Yeah, so, so for people who don't really can't see it and don't really understand, this crane is in three major sections, isn't it, apart from the, the bogies. Um, so there's a the south beat, the auxiliary piece and the centre piece. So three massive pieces of engineering that have got to be lifted in. As you say, one's in there already. This is the second one. Now, it actually has to come through the iron road. Explain to us what normally happens here when you are not uh, got a capital project going on. Well, we've been trying to work around the torpedoes coming in and out. Obviously, with the demand through plants at the moment, it's been hard to us to try and engineer around the operation. So, as you can see, we've had to put man plates down. We've had to gear it up, which is the civil side of it. That takes a period of time. So, working close with rail track, working close with plants and the logistics side of it, you know, we've all been formed as one. And you know we, we, we've become quite regimental with this now because we've had quite a few opportunities. Yeah. You know, through obviously operations, as you know, we've had to work around it. And the weather conditions have been horrendous over the last period. Yeah. But as you can see today, we've got sun. Beautiful. Everything so far has gone clockwork. Yeah. And we've got a bit of a window, so that's yeah. why we want to really go for these two lifts. Yeah, lots of work to do today. And, and to just be clear, so this is where the, the, the locomotives with the torpedoes full of iron from the blast furnaces right. usually come in. Yes. So we're using the very same entrance. So we had yes. to pause the input of iron for the steel plant behind us whilst you bring these large pieces in behind us. So, so uh, very shortly there'll be a lift. Explain to us exactly what's going to happen there. They, they have to lift it up and twist it round and then they bolt it to the other pieces. They do exactly, yeah. There'll be four shackles connected now. Once the four shackles are connected, that'll go up on a vertical. When it's above the rails, it'll be tag-lined, it'll be pulled into position. Uh, once it's pulled into position, it'll be lowered down onto the rails gently. They'll then marry up the two sections. They've got to uh, then closely make sure that the centre of gravity against the alignment of the holes marry up. It'll be suspended for a period of time because this is probably the most technical part of the operation. Yeah. It's a suspension of how long it's going to be actually sitting there. Yeah. Once we know that we've, we're comfortable, they'll be able to start taking the ballast off and start getting the crane ready for the next north, which is the next largest piece. This is only the lightest piece of the three. So this should be, yeah. hopefully by Monday, we'll have it fully yeah. sub-assembled, yeah. ready for the auxiliary trolley, the main trolley. Yeah, because it, these are unbelievably big pieces of equipment going in, but this is just the main structure, isn't it? And yes. You talk there about the trolleys, because those are the bits are actually with the winches, which, which lift the ladle up and lift Correct. the back of the ladle up. So how big are they and when are they likely to go in, Richie? Well, once we've got, obviously, the five main pieces in, which, you know, if all goes to plan, it'll be early next week. We'll then uh, start putting all the, uh, if you like, my part of the job is the pre-assembly piece. We'll be putting that together. As I said, the south has been complete with the windows we've had so far. So the rest of it to put the driver's cab on, the sub-assembly of the stairwells, and then it will be all the actual, uh, putting all the furniture back on, the heat shielding, the viewer cables, and then it will be the installation of all the cable work wow. and commissioning to follow. So, yeah. you know, even though we're going to have these five pieces in, there's still quite a great deal of work to do and obviously working up at height. Yeah. 
So it is a massive engineering at the largest scale you can imagine. And do not forget that having to do this while still operating the steel plant behind us in pauses with the furnace. So three big pieces to go in, hopefully completed today, but lots, lots more work to go on uh, before the crane is complete and can be started to put into position and replace the existing crane. Richie, we're definitely going to come back to see how this goes on. Good luck with the lifts today. We're going to hang around and see them and uh, hope it all goes well for you. Thanks a lot. Cheers for that. Cheers.